Chapter 4 And the son of Saul heareth that Abner is dead in Hebron, and his hands are feeble, and all Israel have been troubled. And two men, heads of troops, have been to the son of Saul. The name of the one is Baana, and the name of the second Rechab, sons of Remon the Beerothite, of the sons of Benjamin, for also Beeroth is reckoned to Benjamin, and the Beerothites flee to Gitaim, and are there sojourners unto this day. And to Jonathan son of Saul is a son, lame. He was a son of five years at the coming in of the rumor of the death of Saul and Jonathan out of Jezreel, and his nurse lifteth him up and fleeth, and it cometh to pass in her hasting to flee, that he falleth, and becometh lame, and his name is Mephibosheth. And the sons of Rimon the Beerothite, Rechab and Baana, go, and come in at the heat of the day unto the house of Ishbosheth, and he is lying down, the lying down of noon. And thither they have come unto the midst of the house, taking wheat, and they smite him unto the fifth rib, and Rechab and Baana his brother have escaped. Yea, they come in to the house, and he is lying on his bed in the inner part of his bedchamber, and they smite him, and put him to death, and turn aside his head. And they take his head, and go the way of the plain all the night, and bring in the head of Ishbosheth unto David in Hebron, and say unto the king, Lo, the head of Ishbosheth, son of Saul, thine enemy, who sought thy life, and Jehovah doth give to my lord the king vengeance this day of Saul and of his seed. And David answereth Rechab and Baana his brother, sons of Remon the Beerothite, and saith to them, Jehovah liveth, who hath redeemed my soul out of all adversity. When one is declaring to me, saying, Lo, Saul is dead, and he was as a bearer of tidings in his own eyes, then I take hold on him and slay him in Ziklag, instead of my giving to him for the tidings. Also, when wicked men have slain the righteous man in his own house, on his bed, and now do not I require his blood of your hand, and have taken you away from the earth? And David commandeth the young men, and they slay them, and cut off their hands and their feet, and hang them over the pool in Hebron. And the head of Ishbosheth they have taken, and bury it in the burying place of Abner in Hebron.